G'day guys and welcome to another one of my Digimon Re-Rise videos. Today we are doing a PvP showcase for Blue Calm Millennium Mon. Um, he's featured at the moment on the JP side. Um, if you haven't already, check out my <laughs> all my summoning videos for him. It did take quite a while to get this guy, but I'm pretty chuffed now I've got him. Um, I've chosen not to do Underworld Dungeon or Clash Battle in this video simply because he truly shines in PvP. So that's all I'm going to show him off at. And that should be enough to help you decide if you want to summon for this guy or not. So Millennium Mon is a blue calm type. In this video, we're going to check out his stats, his skills, and we're going to jump into PvP and see how he goes there. So let's have a look at his stats first. Of course, we'll start with HP. These Digimon are the Digimon that you'll see mostly in the meta um, on the JP side. This guy's not out on global yet. It'll be a couple of months before we see anything like him. So as you can see, for a blue Digimon, his HP is actually quite good. 9,000 HP. Crimson Bone's running pretty similar. He's pretty bulky as well. But he's at the top of the table for Calm Digimon, which is pretty good. Of course, you're comparing him to something like Examon, who's running 13,700 HP. He's not going to be at top of the charts. But for a blue Digimon, that is not too shabby. Looking at tech now, he's not quite the king of tech. Gallantmon X has 7111. This guy's running 758, so he's very friggin' close. Crimson Mode is 6900, so uh, around the ballpark of Crimson Mode and Gallantmon X in terms of his tech stat. Which is pretty good. He's up there. He's up there. Um, his defense, again, quite high for a blue Digimon. He has 3483 defense. Crimson Mode has 3415. So around the ballpark there, of course, Examon is the gold standard for defense of 5000 defense. This guy's a stat beast. Check out my showcase video for him if you want to know more about him. Um, and finally, speed. I've got a sneaking suspicion. Pretty standard speed, yeah, yeah. He's got 30 speed. It's White D's running 30 speed. He's coming to Global. We might already be out on Global soon. Uh, get excited, guys. White D's one of my favorites. Um, and then you're going to see a little bit of him later in the video too. So let's have a look at his, um, his skills now. His main skill does a heap of shit. Have a look at that. Uh, at skill level 10, does 290 to all enemies. So not a massive multiplier, but all enemies is fantastic. When we see there has 30% chance of inflicting fade, death mark, and 50% chance to apply a random status ailment, and clears all enemies' tech, power, and defense damage resistance buffs. And damage resistance buff. That's so good, man. Like... All right, let's break this down because there's a lot going on here. All enemies with fade and a random status effect, already fantastic. You're going to be causing a lot of chaos. 30% fade is not high, but since it hit, hits all enemies, I found I'm getting at least one or two enemies faded per skill. And this last bit, this bit's really, like, sleeper good. Clears all enemies' power, tech, defense, and damage resistance buffs. So, if they boost their power, their tech, their defense, or they have any damage resistances, they get clear. doesn't matter if they're permanent, if they're turn limited. He gets rid of them. That's so good. It weakens the enemies so much. You really, really notice it. It makes your team tougher, and it weakens them. It's like, think of Imperial Drum on Paladin mode. He does a similar thing, but this is all enemies. It's like, it's super good. His sub skill, um, are all enemies again, 230, so slightly weaker than the main skill. Two turn um, buff reduction and minus 60% to defense. So 60% is actually quite a high defense reduction. Two buffs is okay. You'll be getting rid of a few, um, maybe a few evasions, a few like status protections, but nothing too ridiculous there. And finally, his passive skill lets blue allies evade two attacks for seven turns. So you get that as soon as you enter the battle. 40% to blue allies power resistance, power damage resistance. And minus 50% to all enemies' power. If you are running this guy and you're coming up against any power Digimon, you're running a blue team, they are going to be doing jack shit. Like, minus 50% to their power and 40% power damage resistance. This guy is a power killer. The calm meta is here and he's here to stay. It is running rampant at the moment. 
His plugins give him counter, which I don't like, and HP, which I do like. Whoa. So if you can't tell, this guy is an ultimate blue support. He can run, he can run like statuses, just inflict absolute chaos on the other teams, and makes the rest of your blue allies super tanky, especially against power enemies. Um, I'm going to jump into the game now, into PvP. I'll show you the team that I'm running at the moment, and I am having a ball. This is one of my favorite PvP teams that I've ever run in this game. I'm going to jump over now, and I'll chat to you a little bit more about that. Okay, here we are, and this is the team that I'm running. As you can see, it is blue week, so this guy's getting double buffed. Here's the plugins I'm running him with. Nothing too actually ridiculous there. He's got a lot of block. Um, he's got a little bit of counter as well and some regen. Uh, I'm running low on blue plugins to spread across a whole blue team. But I've got support from Chaos Mon, Death Mark from Zwart D, more evasion from the Gallant Mon X, and um, we're also running, uh, of course, Crimson Mode for that cooldown. Now watch this. Main skill. Boom, we've got one fade off. And they've lost all of their defense all of their power, all of their tech, and all of their resistance buffs already. Now I can just uh, add some more stacks of evasion from from my uh, Dukemon X. Then I like to hit another death mark from Zwart D, and then I just rinse and repeat with the cooldown from Chaos Mon and oh, with the cooldown from Crimson Mode. Look at that. Perfect win almost. Just a slither of HP. I've been getting so many 28 pointers with this team. It is ridiculous. Millennium on has just completed one of my ideal teams. So as I was saying, I just rinse and repeat that cycle. By the time that cooldown from Crimson Mode comes back, I can repeat the cycle over and over. So I go Millennium on, who uh, gives statuses and fade. Then I do Duke X to give me some absolutely crazy evasion. Now everyone has like 5,000 stacks of evasion. Some more fade. Some more fade. Some more evasion. I don't even use Crimson Mode or Chaos Mon skills basically ever. If my cycle runs out, which it might, this is a super tanky team that I'm facing and you can see I'm just shredding them. If the um, crits and the, uh, and the hard hitting statuses don't take them out, the multitude of fades definitely will. Perfect win. No damage taken on anyone. Look at this. It is ridiculous. That was a top tier team. And we shredded them like it was nothing. And Millennium Mon is the key. He gives my two uh, weaker Digimon, which are Chaos Mon. Oh, and to an extent, Zwart D. Who have no evasion. Hardly, not much defense except for the damage limiters on Zwart D. And he makes them survive long enough that you don't need to worry about them. Look at this. <laughs> Merciful mode who? Bang. I'm going to pop his uh, sub skill here so you can see that. And this just gives, will just weaken them even more with a 60% damage, uh, defense reduction there. And then we'll pop Millennium on to main again. More fade. No power buffs there. This team is ridiculous. Oh, we took some damage, guys. It really has revitalized Zwart D as well, because now he gets two stacks of evasion on top of his damage limiters. It makes him really hard to take out. As I said before, this team is ridiculous. I'm probably going to make a full video on this team. I'll be surprised if I get beaten this week. Millennium Mon's getting double boosted. Dukemon X getting double boosted, and everyone else has that single boost. It's crazy. <laughs> it also completely makes Red Hill Force useless. Like, those two stacks of evasion mean he can't touch. He can't touch anyone. Holy crap, this is a quick win. Not a perfect win. We took a little bit of damage there. We can apply a little bit more fade and get out, get some more evasion up. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Let's just go through it, like, Dukemon X gets four stacks of evasion plus whatever he applies. Crimson Mode gets four stacks, Millennium Mon gets two stacks, Watt D gets two stacks plus two stacks of uh, damage limiter, and Chaos Mon gets two stacks of evasion. Holy crap, I love this Digimon. 
Is he worth like limit breaking to the absolute extreme? Probably not. He's a support did you and he doesn't hit that hard. Mine's skill level 10. As you can see, he doesn't hit that hard, but the statuses, the death mark, and those stacks of evasion, plus clearing the enemy's buffs is crazy. I absolutely love him. If you can run a team like this, even if you can combine him with Crimson Mode and possibly Duke Monex, those three, that three core is ridiculous. You can whack any other blue Digimon you want on there and you're going to be having a really, really good time with this guy. Honestly, Clash Battle, oh, A tier. He does have that defense reduction, which is nice. Underworld Dungeon is probably a A plus tier. Fade's good, hit all enemies is good. The two stacks of evasion is good as well. PVP, at the moment, I know he's getting double boosted, but I'm loving him. S, even S plus tier. Oh, standalone, he's A plus or S. With the right team, S++. He is crazy support. I love him. I'm happy I went in again. Check out my summoning videos if you haven't already. Those cannons look super janky from this angle. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. Check out my other videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.